Hi guys, this is Shivadi. Welcome to the session on JShell. So JShell is a command line interactive tool which will help the developer to write a and test the code without writing like a whole class and compiling and then running executing the program. So this feature is basically introduced in Java 9. So if you compare with the other languages like uh, Scala or uh, Groovy and Python where we have an interactive um, shell where you can write a small piece of the code and test your code and get the feedback immediately. So by inspired by all these other features, uh, this feature of the other languages, Java also introduced the JShell in uh, Java 9. So JShell is a read, evaluate, print loop state, uh, loop uh, tool. Basically what it is going to do is whatever the programs you want to write and you want to test it, no, no longer you have to go write a class and then write your statements and then compile it and execute. Directly, it will provide you an interactive uh, interactive command line tool where you can write your small piece of the code and test so that the productivity of the developer can be increased. So let us go ahead and start. So I already downloaded my uh, latest version of the Java 9 on my computer. So if I see the uh, version of the Java, it is Java version is 9.0.4. So in order to switch to the J shell, just type J S H E L shell. Now this is going to open the J shell in interactive mode. Here you can write all your uh, test, uh, whatever the uh, test um, you want to do with like a, some logic or the program, then you can do by using the J shell. Okay, if you see here, welcome to the JSL version is 9.0.4 and for introduction type is slash help intro. Okay, now for example, if I want to print hello world, then directly I can hit right here system dot out dot println welcome to JSL. Okay, so so it has printed this one. For example, if I want to find a substring of particular uh, string. So hello world dot substring of two and six between two comma six. Then it is going to return as the uh, substring. And similarly, if I want to see what is the today date, so java dot um, java dot time dot local date for example if i want to see date now you can say now this is going to print the date similarly if i want to see date and time time now i want to evaluate some value so two plus it is going to give the um, sum if I want to declare some variables so int a equal to 20 then value of a is a 20 for example if I want to do sum of these two numbers then int a equal to 20 comma b equal to 30 and int c equal to a plus B, sorry. Okay, so this is how you can provide the sum of the two numbers. Now let us consider we can write a some uh, methods also. Like I want to sum two numbers. So I can say int sum of int a comma int b and then return a plus b enter so now it has created method sum int uh, uh, in now if i want to call this method sum 20 comma th sorry 20 comma 30 now this is going to return as the value of 50 Okay, so like this, you can write all the, uh, if you want to test some logics, instead of writing in a separate file, 
then now you can go ahead and use this JShell for your development uh, purpose to test certain logics so that it is going to improve the productivity of the developers. Similarly, even you can write a classes also. Now let us consider class employee int emp id string emp name. Let us create a constructor public employee int emp id comma string emp name and this dot emp id equal to emp id this dot emp name equal to emp name and then close the parenthesis now let us print some value of the emp id and implement them public wide display system dot out dot println emp id that is emp id and emp name okay and then close the method and also we can close the class um, braces now employee class has created now let us create an object for this so employee emp equal to new employee of 101 and shiva as a name okay so employee is created so emp dot display okay so this has printed the value of emp id 101 and shiva so you can write any uh, java logic using the jshell and test your code whether this is working properly or not for example for for loops if i want to print for int i equal to 0 i less than 10 i plus plus and then system dot out dot print ln i and close it sorry it is a typo mistake is there for int i equal to 0 i less than 10 i plus plus and then system dot out dot print ln of i close it now this is going to print the value of it like this you can even do the declarations like private private int i for example then automatically i value is going to be initialized to zero now if you want to do a, a string upper so shiva dot to upper case this will be upper for example if you want to co convert this one to the lower case lower case it will be lower if you want to find the length of a particular string dot length sorry okay length so like this all the um, whatever the uh, java uh, logics what you want to test either it is a declarations or evaluations or for each loops or even a declaring a classes and all these things you can play around using this jshell so that instead of writing your own class file and uh, in, instead of creating a java file and then compiling it and then finally you are uh, executing the program jshell is going to help you to test your uh, logic very 
uh, effectively and it is actually uh, increase the productivity of the developers hope you clear with the concept of jshell and uh, thanks for watching if you want to exit from the shell just you type slash exit that's all thanks for watching